All right, how's everybody doing? I did a video. No, I just got out of that screen. Sorry to waste your time. Donald Trump assassination time frame. Boy, I'll tell you what, in these times, these prideful times, I'll probably alter the the title of uh, this part two, and then I'm, I'm going to end up, it'll end up being on my playlist. Donald Trump assassination time frame. Um, I just made a post. And because Revelation 9-11, that's their big Bible verse. Trump has Apollo, of course, the portrait of Apollo hanging in his penthouse. And if, remember when the Batman movie, The Dark Knight, came out, the shooting took place in Aurora, Colorado. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name written in Hebrew tongue is a bad, but in the Greek tongue have his name, Apollyon. And of course, you know, the Apollo, um, NASA, I'll just say the NASA stuff. I'm not gonna share my opinion about what that's all about. But anyway, they gave that name Apollo. And of course we get into Trump Tower portrait of Apollo and Aurora. Here are some pictures that match. Apollo led in his chariot by Aurora. That's a painting he has at Trump Tower. And of course, he's got the statue of Eros and Psyche, which is the fallen angel. See the angel wings? making love with the human woman. We've chronicled that plenty of times. So we know in Revelation 13, it, it states three times that the Antichrist receives a deadly wound, but did live. And of course, 9-11, the Twin Towers, it's all about the twins going down and the one world trade, the one rising back up later on. And of course, uh, the twin will be assassinated, seemingly taking a deadly wound, but did live because the real Trump will, will remain alive and spiritually will go into the abyss. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them. Golly, there's that old commercial that Charlize Theron did where she comes up out of the abyss, comes up out of the top. We believe that is at the North Pole in that commercial. I think that when the two billion are dying due to war and famine, that the waters will rise also. So their, their whole global warming theory will come alive and it's really just God melting the polar ice caps um, which I think is straight from Second uh, Thessalonians 2 I think sorry my brain when I start talking to y'all my brain just starts moving so none of this is prepped Yeah, for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And shall that wicked be revealed. So he, taken out of the way is who is guarding the abyss. So when he is removed, some have said it's Michael the archangel. There's no telling. Uh, but when he is taken out of the way, then the abyss 
See, Batman is Illuminati's antichrist and all of the villains had characteristics of God, like Jesus spoke in parables, so you had the Riddler. And the Joker, some people just want to watch the world burn, was a um, quote from the movie. Well, God does burn up this world at the end. Um, you know, love that scene. Um, might as well show it to y'all. Hope it doesn't. I think I'll be safe if I put it in. Some men just want to watch the world burn. As long as I put this link in the comments and give it credit, I think I'm okay. Hey guys, I wanted to introduce you to a new product. It's my electrolyte powder. So this will be by Danny flavor, Foots. Okay, it's pretty good. Danny With Foots. Respect, Master Wayne. Perhaps this is a man you don't fully understand either. A long time ago, I was in Burma. My friends and I were working for the local government. They were trying to buy the loyalty of tribal leaders by bribing them with precious stones. But their caravans were being raided in a forest north of Rangoon by a bandit. So we went looking for the stones. But in six months, we never met anyone who traded with him. One day, I saw a child playing with a ruby the size of a tangerine. The bandit had been throwing them away. So why still? Well, because he thought it was good sport, because some men aren't looking for anything logical, like money. They can't be bought, bullied, reasoned, or negotiated with. Some men just want to watch the world burn. So some men just want to watch the world burn. I have to make sure that I put that in my comments so I don't get a copyright strike. Um... I never get tired of watching that movie. It's the most eerily satanic, Luciferian. They're telling you the story of Donald Trump, the billionaire from New York City. In the Dark Knight rises when he goes down into the pit and rises from the pit that's why they call it the dark night rises because <laughs> the beast uh, that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit The leap to freedom is not about strength. The fear of bats, the bat virus, the bat coin. We have a new bat coin. We have the bat virus. All you queuing on people should love all this. This is your boy. Ah, he ascendeth out of the pit. The dark night rises. The Antichrist rises. The beast that rises out of the bottomless pit. They could have named the movie The Dark Knight Ascendeth. <laughs> but that would have been like, you know, too easy. Queuing on. <laughs> you better hope the Lord calls you out of that. If he doesn't, he never knew you. So we're looking at a time frame. Well, just like 9-11 was their last big event, 
because of Revelation 9-11. We already showed you the pictures, right? Of uh, the Aurora, Colorado Batman shootings and Aurora uh, leading Apollo in his chariot. It's all about Apollo, which is Satan. So we know that he needs to receive a deadly wound because it says it three different times. And I saw one of his heads as if it were wounded to death. One of his heads? You mean there's two of them? <laughs> oh, boy. To make war with the saints, which is the exact same thing it says in the little horn of Daniel 7. And, of course, Jesus said, I come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. But if one shall come in his own name, him you will receive. I believe that's John 5.43. And of course, he's here in his own name. He's the little trump of Daniel 7. Or his name could be Donald Horn. A horn is a trump. So he's here in his own name. Again, ascendeth, rise, horn, trump. Very cryptic, but very simple. The only folks that can't grasp it are those not meant to grasp it. All, all spiritual discernment comes from the Lord. So he makes war with the saints, just like it says in um, Daniel 7.21 and 7.25. And Trump Tower has five multiple addresses, 7.21 through 7.25. Go figure, which is the little horn of Daniel 7 passage as he is the Antichrist. There's three other verses that describe the little horn today, even before he received the Antichrist spirit. And that's uh, Daniel 7.8, 7.11, and 7.20, a mouth speaking great things it says it three times uh, i don't know lock her up uh we'll bomb the shit out of them uh the other day he said something you know we'll shoot to kill or he's he's, he's never he never talks normal it's always a mouth speaking great things anybody that doesn't understand that donald trump is the antichrist they're just not called to it not called to it which had a wound by the sword, but did live. Whose deadly wound was healed. So it's said three times. That's 12, 14, and three. Three, 12, 14. Okay, three, 12, 14. Remember that, Stokes. How come you never remember it? You always have to search through. I knew two of them were close together, but okay. 3, 12, 14. Got it. Get it. Got it. Good. So let's get back to the time frame. In IPET GOAT 2, uh-oh. be saving all of these links hey guys i wanted to introduce you to a new product Some it's my electrolyte powder orange flavor with respect okay so i need to make sure this goes in the comments that goes in the comments and let's open up another one you know just a quick second all right, sorry about that. So, I pet goat two. Got 666 six, six there. I pet goat, of course, was the movie that, uh, I mean, the book that Bush was reading in the classroom when the Twin Towers got hit. So, this is a computer. The Ghost in the Machine did this. Uh, I asked a friend of mine that knows computers. I said, can a, can a computer, um, can artificial intelligence, completely do a computer animated 
cartoon with music? And he said, yes. So the ghost in the machine, Satan did this for you. So make no mistake about that. See where it says, I am Q, I am Q, I am Q, I am Q. It'll be right over her shoulder in a close-up of a minute. It'll just be these three. And QAnon is Satan. It's artificial intelligence. The same one that did this is QAnon, which also does all of Trump's tweets, which also writes your presidential scripts, which writes, and, and, I would say that's what Satan's doing. Other fallen angels or de demons in the machine, ghosts in the machine, are writing movie scripts, writing songs, uh, hip hop, country, rock, doesn't matter. We know that the spirit world wrote all of the early music because people, that's what they said. <laughs> when you watch Hell's Bells 2, A History of Rock and Roll, where they sold their souls for rock and roll, that's all it does is chronicle uh, rock, country, pop, disco, doesn't matter, that they all channeled their music, a spirit came into them and wrote the songs. So. Fool me one, fool me one. Where's the lady at? I did want to show you the lady. <laughs> Where is that lady at when she when they give you the close-up of the lady? I want to show you the IMQ over her shoulder. Do they go back in that classroom at all? No. Well, I'll be, let me uh, pause recording for a second. I'll get you to close up of that. Well, no wonder I couldn't scroll through it. I am Q, okay? That's who's doing this video. Um, that's who QAnon is. So anyway, um, as you go through IPET go to, you see the stag moon or the stag? We've got a stag full moon coming up. The stag full moon. That's when the stags start to full moon for July 20th, the, the full buck moon. There it is. So the full buck moon. Then you see the stag or the full buck and it's right in back of Trump. That's Trump with his hand signal. I know you all, all know Trump's hand signal, even when he was getting the water dumped over him, which was a ritual event when they had the world doing that, by the way, the ice bucket challenge. Donald Trump ice bucket challenge photo. So you see him sitting there getting water dumped on them. That was a ritual event that they had the whole world take part in. But you see how he sits. He always sits like that. That's who he is. And you see him sitting there and he's got the hair. The only one with hair. And of course, hair is his trademark. I just showed uh, somebody 
that's a QAnon follower. Uh, and they they basically uh, made it made it clear to everybody on social media, not naming me by by name, but to get lost. They don't want to know the truth, and that's that's the Lord's discernment. Whatever the Lord puts in your heart, that's what's going on. But you see, that's Trump. Well, this was written in 2012. I mean, I mean, produced in 2012. Trump was always going to be president. Your elections aren't real. That's proven right there that's proven we just proved it your elections aren't real they believe that these are the two bushes because their heads are connected that that's kennedy that's jfk with the and i see that rabbit somebody said in a video that the rabbit was a symbol the point of this video is we're looking for time frames and it's a big ritual event when you have a full moon following a solar eclipse. A full moon following a solar eclipse ritual. Doesn't look like that's giving me what I want to see. I want to see the combination of the full moon. No, sorry, didn't mean to be wasting your time. But that's a big ritual event. Full moon following lunar eclipse, July 4th. Oh, I think it's July 5th. According to Earth Sky, on the night of July 4 to 5, 2020, the full moon swings south of the dark umbra but partially passes through the faint penumbra. Seven mm Eleven. -mm. Remember the remember the uh, store called Seven Eleven. We might as well read my post. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and shall overcome them and kill them. Just like Nine Eleven is a big day for them, a bid. I don't do that like every single time I make a post. Hey man, in less than 13 months, I'll be 60. Let me see here. Just like 9 11, the big day for them, the big number for them. Just like this 9 11. Remember a store called 7-Eleven, I get it now, the Dark Knight Rises, Ascends. Wondering if July 8th, three days, was, see, because they mimic Jesus in every way, so rising or ascending, 9-11 or July 11th, three days before would be when he would get assassinated. And then, or three days before would be when he dies. The assassination could take days earlier. They could all keep America in protest, and he could be in the hospital in critical condition, life-threatening. Uh, the clubs will send their people back out into the streets, which is all that's taking place now. It's just This is just club member activity. Um, people get emotionally caught up in it due to pride, but that's where they get you. There is no pride in the church. You take pride in nothing. You just tell the truth. Dark Knight Rises Ascends, wondering if July 8th, three days before, November 4th, might not be a great event day in the beginning, i.e. the beginning of the end. Just one more target dates to look out for. Is it just, one is just days after the stag full moon. I guess I should say, uh, 
the first full moon after the solar eclipse was a high holy day in their dark world. And the other date is the day after the election. So that would be 11-7. And the other date is the day after the election. See, because Canadians, they have their dates opposite. They write, like we write, um, this is how we say July 11th. That's how Canadians say July 11th. And Europeans might also, so who knows? And the other date is after the election. Hmm, the event could drag on for days until death is pronounced. Never know, stay tuned. And hey, don't let that pride eat you alive, folks. I see a lot of prideful posts. The saints don't deal in pride nor politics, just truth, and are hated for telling the truth. That's the truth. So those are target dates to look out for. That's what I would be looking out for. Trump was born on a blood red moon, and we only have one more of those. Lunar Eclipse 2020. According to Wikipedia, a penumbral lunar eclipse took place on the 5th of June 2020. It was the second of four penumbral lunar eclipses in 2020. Well, what are the four? That would be interesting to know. January 10th, June 5th, there's your solar eclipse on the 21st. There's your penumbral lunar eclipse on July 5th. Yep, wow. And again on November 30th. And then you got another solar eclipse December 14th. Okay. So the 10th, the 5th. June 5th and July 5th. And then November 30th. Okay. Interesting. All right. So anyway, that's all. Appreciate y'all watching. I hope I covered everything. I'll put that in the comments. I'll put all three in the comments. That's an interesting video to watch. It will creep you out. There's their black and white checkered flooring, of course. That's uh, club symbology. It's, you know, the safe name to call them is the Illuminati. So anyway, all right, love y'all.